Giga Texas is the 12th largest building in the world, and it's 76% done. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. Well, at least measured by floor space, and assuming Wikipedia is reasonably up to date, and of course if you exclude Beijing Terminal 3, which is connected by three trains, I mean, if we're going to count things connected by trains, we're going to have to include entire cities. That's pretty big. And it may still climb this list by one, maybe two more spots, probably just the one. This week looked a tad slower than we've seen lately, but that's based more on how the squares are counted than the actual work done. So let's look at the progress graph. The site prep is still at 95%, and as a reminder, this doesn't just include grading the site to level, but in the case of Giga Texas, clearing hills, filling valleys, and installing geopiers and other pilings to make the site buildable. This figure may finally change in the next week or two because the footings in orange have inched up. Not because of new work done, but because we can see that the area in the alleyway at the north has its footings. They're just spaced differently than we've seen elsewhere, so they weren't counted before. There was a bunch of work done in preparation of new footings in the central corridor, and we should see some footings here within a week or so. For the first time in 18 weeks, the framing barely increased, since there were very few remaining footings on which to attach anything. It may be a few weeks still before we see any significant gains in this department, but with trial production of Model Y already beginning, the urgency for these areas isn't quite as great. The site's overall progress remains real steady based in part on the smoothing effects of the roof figures being counted a bit slowly and the interior space being counted even more slowly than that, it's still going up a nice. The roof coverage has also gone up steadily, though there's not a lot of area awaiting coverage, and frankly, not a lot of area left to be built on more generally. Even once this appears done, it'll still take a while to catch up, since only 50% of the roof is counted when it's first done, and the other half is counted along with the interior. So as of today, one new square covered with roofing counts as 69% nice of a square. But let's talk about the interior completion, which yes, has continued its reasonable trend. A fair amount was added this week, though not as much as I was honestly expecting. And this is because the walls on the massive southwest quadrant a don't count yet. Typically, windows aren't needed for a dry-in count, but when they make up 50% of the surface area, yeah, they just need to be in place. So let's talk about what to expect in the coming weeks and months. So in the next week or three, expect the walls to continue being placed along the west side and windows to go up, which will massively increase the interior space count. Now, since these are counted over a 17-week period, even closing off that entire area would only add about a half a percent per week to the overall completion. What this means for the coming months is that it's likely to continue at around the current pace, slowly slipping closer to the end of December, and then slowing tremendously once the final walls are put up. Once construction starts on other parts of the site, those will be tracked as well. If you're new to the series and want to better understand how all the factors are weighted and dig into the details, check out some of the earlier videos in the series, link to the playlist in the corner and description. And if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. And of course, if you have answers, you know, consider responding to those. So let's take a look at the sitemap for this week and get on to the timeline predictions. But allow me to thank my Patreons who get early access, bonus material, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. Welcome to Steve Marshall and Daniel Richland. Thank you guys. So this is the site map as of August 16th, and now we'll roll it back as we do to December 14th and go through it week by week. There was very little information to go on in the early days, so there have been adjustments over time. 
The orange represents the footings, with the darker orange representing deeper or heavier ones. The gray indicates framing work. The darker gray indicates a first layer of roofing. The blue indicates walls have been put up so the interior area can begin its count. The darker the blue, the more floors there are. The black lines indicate firewalls or expansion joints, with the heavier ones outlining the concrete areas. As a reminder, this only counts the main Emerald Building and not any of the other projects on the site since we haven't been able to determine their eventual size. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So here it is, and here you go. As of August 16th, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of your Cybertruck, is 76% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 516 days from groundbreaking on or about December 18th, though with some work still continuing inside. It's mostly a two-floor structure, as you can see, with over 8.5 million square feet framed up, which is 794,000 square meters. It's a small increase from last week, but that's kind of to be expected, since they're running out of work to do. What isn't captured in this tracker is the sheer amount of work going on elsewhere on the site. Many have commented that they can't consider it anywhere close to done until paving begins, and, well, now there's a lot of pavement for parking, as well as a mile of road stretching all the way to the far west of the site. There's pavement going down kind of everywhere. Two big areas have been graded for construction to start at some point soon, and utility and drainage are still underway. These are milestones on their own, but they aren't counted separately, since historically, with these factories, they've followed the same timeline as the interior completion. Big thanks to those of you who joined the live stream last Friday, and a heads up that there will be another one this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific time as well. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast and smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below, and as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the cool side of the pillow.